Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'd like to have a serious talk about something, and this is going to be very important going forward with what we talk about on this channel. This relates to the news that came out yesterday, where Apple is going to be making parts available to anybody who wants to buy them, who owns their products. You'll be able to buy parts to fix your phone or your MacBook or anything else. And we're not really sure if this is a program that is going to be a good program or sustainable just yet, but it's still a move in the right direction. And a lot of people acknowledge that. And I was reading comments, not just on my own videos, but on other videos and other news articles saying, look at what Lewis Rossman are accomplished. Or Lewis has been working tirelessly at this for the last seven or nine years, and he finally did it. Good on him. And I feel the need to correct that statement. The reason that things are going the way they are is not because of me. It's because of all of you. Movements that truly change the world for the better are not based on individuals. They're based on principles and they're based on philosophies that are consistent and universally preferable. One man is not going to change the world and one person most certainly is not responsible for the fact that we now have laptop companies that are really coming out that specifically advertise and cater to people that want to fix their own products. It's not why we have legislation moving forward in over 17 states. It's not why Biden noticed this and the FTC noticed this and so on and so forth. That's not because of me. No one individual would be able to do all of that. It's because of all of you. The reason that this is being taken as seriously as it is is because tens of hundreds of millions of people out there are telling people and showing people why this matters. And that's how you create real change. You don't create real change by telling somebody what they should care about or telling someone why they should vote a certain way or lecturing them or finger pointing them or holding a sign and grabbing it in front of them. What you do is you share with them why it matters to you without telling them why it matters to you. Whatever it is that makes a particular cause near and dear to your heart. For me, I love repair because I get to make people happy. I get to solve puzzles and get to see the fan spin at the end of it and get that little happy kick of dopamine that you get when you solve something. And admittedly, at the end of that, I get to actually collect money that I can use to feed myself, my family, and an amazing team of people that have a better job than where they were working before because of it, right through that door. So what I like to do is I like to share what it is that makes me happy about this. I want to show you how to repair your own stuff. I want to see you have that little happy kick when your trackball clicks again or the fan spins or something like that. And it's what's driven me to do things like the repair workshop or these tutorial videos that I do or the repair wiki and everything else. But I am only one man and one man is not going to affect change upon tens of millions of people. The reason we've gotten as far as we have is because I am not the only one doing this. All of you watching are doing the exact same thing. When you know someone with something broken, you'll help them fix it. You'll let them experience that little kick when they save $1,000 over going to the manufacturer. You'll let them experience the fun when they do it themselves with your instruction. You let them kind of share in that happiness when they see the logo come up, when they turn their phone on again, or when they make their car work again. That's what's moving this forward. It's getting people involved by sharing what it is that makes the issue matter to you, to them. You don't have to wave a sign at them. You don't have to tell them this is important because of this, that, and the other. You don't lecture them. You simply share your joy with them. And that's what all of you have been doing for over 10 years. If you want to know how you can get involved, if you want to know how you can actually help affect change when it comes to right to repair, don't ask me what you can do to help me. Rather, ask what can I do to share my joy with the people around me. What makes repair matter to me? What makes repair something that I find fun? And how can I share that joy with the people around me as often as humanly possible? Thank you very much for being a part of this for the past nine years that I've had this YouTube channel. And thank you for giving me an outlet for me to share my joy with all of you. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. Don't give me credit for the work that you all have been doing. I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.